So today I want to talk about calf care, specifically electrolyte treatment, how to assess calves to see if they need an electrolyte treatment, what electrolytes are, and how we go about mixing electrolytes so that they're the proper concentration to give to calves. So electrolyte therapy can be used in a few dis different instances on a calf barn. Uh, for example, if calves are about to be transported or if they just got finished being transported, they can be used to supplement a calf's diet. They can also be used during dehydration events or if a, ca a calf is scouring. Uh, electrolytes are designed to replenish any lost body fluids. They're designed to restore the acid-base balance in the calf's body, and they also provide quick energy and nutrients for the animal. So when mixing electrolytes, it's very important to follow the label directions for each kind of electrolyte that's on the market today. I've pre-mixed some um, Hubbard Feeds Right Light electrolytes, and this here is one scoop of powder to two quarts of water. And this water is about 105 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about the temperature that a calf should be receiving any kind of liquid diet, whether it's an electrolyte or a milk replacer. Um, depending on the severity of dehydration or scours, electrolytes can be fed at different times during the day. Uh, lots of producers vow for feeding their electrolytes after their milk feeding, uh, never before the milk feeding because milk is the most important part of the liquid diet for calves. Uh, or we could feed electrolytes every 12 hours. So um, in between milk feedings, say if a milk feeding is in the morning and then in the evening, we could feed electrolytes in the middle of the afternoon and then again overnight if there was someone available to feed these electrolytes overnight. Um, if going through a transport event, we could give these, these electrolytes to calves before they get on the truck or after a transport event, as soon as they come off the truck, we can give them some electrolytes.